This video will show you how to make multiple versions of a multiple part assessment. For example, this assessment has five parts, parts one through five. To create multiple versions where students can sit next to each other but get different versions at uh, different parts at the same time, but the same test, uh, this is what we'll be looking at. So version B starts with part three, four, five, then goes back to one, two. Uh, and then version C again goes starts with part 5 and then goes to 1, 2, 3, 4. So all students will get all five parts just in a different order. This way you can sit them next to each other and they can't listen for the same answers. Um, this will be my third attempt at doing this. Hopefully the video will, will capture this. So we're going to work on version F. So basically version E will copy that. So you have to look at where the lesson is. So it's called Assessment 2E. You need to go to the SVI folder. So however you get access to that, you need to get ex access to the SVI folder. SVSYS, SVI, and the location was EAPW, clear pronunciation, Assessment 2E. Now I did a 2F. What you do is you're going to copy and then paste and then rename it. Okay, so you have a working copy of 2E, but it'll be labeled 2F. This way, they're two separate things, so if you change one, you're not actually changing both. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this before it's linked in the menu, um, because two, uh, a, uh, sorry, assessment 2F already exists. So now we can, once you've copied it in the SVI folder, I'm just going to copy add a new one below and call it erase the E and put F. Now this is very important. If you leave it at ASS2E, if you change it, although the menu item says version F, it needs to be version F. It needs to match, otherwise you'll be changing version E instead. Okay? So you added it, you're going to save it. And now when you go in and plan it, here's one, four, five, two, three. So I want one, let's see, let's put four and five. So you click on it, shift, click to the end of five, copy, actually no, you don't have to copy, just click and drag. Let's put it between two and three. Okay, so it's part one, two, four, five, and three. So to make this easier, copying and pasting the different parts, you need to do eye screens. When you start an eye screen, it says new item. If you label it properly, then you can easily select what you want to copy and paste. Okay. The reason we put so many eye screens in between here, between the instructions, getting ready for the part, plus the 10 questions, plus the end, is because in the platter, the item selection is randomized. Okay, so that means these 10 questions will be randomized within the part, as well as the parts being randomized. Um, so this, the eyes separate what needs to get randomized. So this won't randomize by itself. Ready part one won't randomize by itself. So these one through 10 will be randomized, but then end will not be. If the instructions are not separated from the get ready and from one and through 10, those two screens will be randomized within, so they may not get the instructions first, they'll get it maybe the last. Okay, so that is creating multiple versions of a multiple part assessment. I'm going to delete this because we don't need it, but this is how you would create uh, multiple versions of a multiple part assessment.